What's up guys, this is Sammy from Digivangelism and today I'm gonna talk to you a little bit about why make a YouTube page. YouTube. A lot of people and churches use YouTube as a repository. They take videos of their sermons and they post them on YouTube. They make a video for VBS, they post it on YouTube. They make a video for some reason whatsoever and eventually it finds its way to YouTube. It's like a way of storing everything that they've done and putting it somewhere online in the digital space, which is great. It is great. People will find your YouTube if you promote it, you know, if you show where it is. They'll see all these great things you've done, or they'll hear your messages and figure out whether or not they fit in your church. But there's something that you need to know about YouTube. YouTube is a search engine. <gasps> YouTube is one of the biggest search engines. People learn how to rebuild dishwashers or fix their cars on YouTube. Most of the videos on YouTube that people are searching are how to blank. What is blank? People are looking for information. They're looking for how to do something. It's like Googling a question or quick asking Siri for the answer to something. That's how people use YouTube and it comes back to them in video form. So how do you use this as a church community? Share what you have to offer. You can just, like me, stand in front of a camera and talk about your faith, pieces of the theology behind your faith, why you do something in church, what is that communion thing all about, why your Bible school or your Sunday school is set up a certain way. Give information in videos on YouTube, voila. Now it might seem gimmicky, but I would actually recommend you lean into the search engine aspect of YouTube when you're writing the titles to your videos. So how to blank, maybe it's how to set up the altar for church. That would be intriguing for people, I bet. It seems like the littlest thing, but people would watch it or you know, something theological that you're gonna explain. So people are coming on to learn about something. That's likely how they'll find your videos. This isn't just for people in your congregation. Sure, they may benefit from it greatly, but YouTube is a search engine. So people looking up altars in Christian churches in America or specific denominations or wh whatever it is, they might come across your video and learn something new. Maybe for a school project, maybe for a Sunday school project, maybe just because they were curious. This is a ministry beyond your church. It can be at least. It doesn't have to be. You could be sharing this bountiful knowledge with people beyond the walls of your church, beyond even the community you reside in. One final thing you should know about YouTube is that longer form videos are okay on YouTube. In fact, they're better on YouTube. People on YouTube are usually settling in to watch a longer video. They're prepared for 15 minutes of their time to be taken up by this video. Maybe they'll just throw it on their TV or phone while they're cooking dinner. That's okay. Share a sermon if you want, or share about yourself, or share about your faith and really dig into the details here. As I said before, this is not only gonna be a ministry to people that will find your video near and far, but it's also gonna help people get to know you as a leader or your leadership if you have multiple people making and posting videos, which is great. It helps people see how they function. It helps people see how they interact. It helps people understand a little bit more about them or about the church itself and might make them more comfortable in trying it out if they're new or if they are there, it might make them just understand a little bit more about what's happening in a church service. You'd be surprised about how many people might not understand all the pieces. We kind of take it for granted when we go through it week after week as leaders, but people sitting in the pews, maybe they grew up in a different tradition or they just never asked the question before. They're gonna benefit from your answer. So share it, share it well, share it on YouTube, because that is where the people are and that's who we're trying to reach with the message of Jesus' love which is why we do what we do. Have fun doing it. Peace.